Hello, welcome back to All About Devices. Um, we're sat here today in the courtyard to the rear of the Black Swan Hotel on uh, the Tuesday morning after the street festivals over the bank holiday. Um, I'm joined this morning by High Wire Walker Anaspitos. That's correct. And Phoebe. Yes. Yes. Hello. Hello. And um, they. Uh, undoubtedly were the star of the show yesterday in Monday's Street Festival. Um, all the performers, of course, were very, very important and we're very grateful to them for coming along and providing us with such fantastic entertainment. But the high spot of the day was undoubtedly the high wire walker Anaspitos and his lovely Phoebe. Uh, he walked across the marketplace from the Black Swan over to Straker's estate agents. Now, I'm going to have a quick word with them both uh, be before they head off into the wide blue yonder. Um, and Aspitos, first of all, thank you both very much for joining me. Um, how did you get involved in high wire walking? Well, um, I first started wire walking, first started on a slack rope, in fact, um, about 12 years ago. Uh, I was at a, a festival not too dissimilar to this in Athens. Uh, and I remember meeting up with a girl who walked a slack rope and I was, I was hypnotised, I was entranced by the look of that first step when she, she took a step um, onto the wire and, and the way that the, the dynamics of that, it almost looked like floating. <laughs> Um, and so we ended up working together and she ended up teaching me the first few steps, quite literally. Right, okay. So you didn't do the schoolboy dream then and run away and join the circus. It was um, in Greece. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Doing street shows in Greece. Um, I'd left England when I was 19. I left England and stayed away for about 12 years. Uh, Travelled around uh, 28 countries. Um, and, and found that busking on the streets was my, my, my choice way to make money. It saved me getting a job, really, in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> That's rock and roll for you, isn't it? So, um, obviously, uh, we come along and we see you do your performance, and uh, uh, quite frankly, you're amazed at it. But obviously, there's a lot of preparation goes into this as well. Uh, how, how much actual preparation do you actually have to take? Well, I mean, it really is a question of years. I mean, before before doing a stunt like that one, um, one must be absolutely 100%, 200% certain that they're not going to fall. Yes, it does take years of build-up and then for each individual walk I'll be training sort of six hours a day including meditation and yoga uh, for several months before a walk. I see. Um, I, I find it fascinating because of course there are two different genres in, in this high wire walking. There's slack rope walking and tight rope walking, am I, am I correct? That's right, slack rope, tight rope, um, there's the blonde in as well and the high wire. Uh, and Blondin, of course, was the gentleman that walked across Niagara. Yes, that discipline's named after him, and it's a rope that will have springs in the equation. It's usually quite a thick rope, uh, and people do sort of somersaults, and it's, it's a bouncy rope, in effect. They use it like a trampoline. I see. Fantastic. And I, <laughs> this gentleman loves his cups of tea, by the way. Uh, midway, through, midway through the act, undoubtedly you will see it, of course, on our channel. Um, he stops and has a cup of tea.
Anyway, let's talk to Phoebe now because you're just starting off, uh, I believe, in uh, learning this uh, discipline, yeah? Yeah, um, I'm a costume maker by trade and when I met Chris two years ago, I made him a, a costume for the circus that we work for. Um, I d couldn't even touch my toes, I was totally unphysical and Chris kind of did my first steps on the wire with me and from there I totally fell in love with it and I walk mainly on the tightrope but right. I've been learning the high wire in preparation for us getting married next year. We're going to hopefully get married on the high wire in a castle in Wales so oh. lots of training for that. <laughs> okay well we know your past, how you started, yeah. we know the present that you wowed the crowds out here yesterday. It, honestly I've never seen so many people in devices. And I've walked through the town this morning, and I'm pretty well known by, by people here, and they've all been stopping me saying, did you see it yesterday, Bill? Oh, it was fantastic. You know, so um, you you did your job absolutely brilliantly. Okay, so we know where you started. We know you wowed the crowd yesterday. What, other than your wedding, of course, which is very important, but what have you got uh, lined up for the future? Um, well, there are a few proposed walks. There are a few opportunities. Um, nothing's confirmed as yet. Uh, but what I would very much like to do is to walk between more and more iconic monuments. So uh, we've made the first steps, we've, we've mentioned it to Bristol Cathedral. Uh, we're interested to see how the church will react, whether they're sort of pro or against. We have a lot of loopholes um, to, to get through uh, in this sort of litigation culture and of course to make everything safe to, to ensure that we won't damage anybody's uh, property or myself or the public of course, uh, it's very important. Uh, with the support and the backing of um, the general public in fact uh, and, and certainly the experience as we clock up more and more experience hopefully we'll get permission to do things like the cathedral in Bristol or, or other um, uh, iconic places around the UK. Fantastic. Yeah, well, I mean, you've obviously got your, your future planned. I mean, your marriage and, and all these various places that you want to visit. I really hope you'll come back and see us again in Devizes uh, because um, you set the town abuzz. You really have. And uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Carnival Committee for having the nous to um, bring such a fantastic act to Devizes. I can't reiterate enough how brilliant all the other acts were as well. There was a street festival, there was there was rock and roll music, all different types of music, and they were all fantastic. But Anaspidos and Phoebe were undoubtedly the stars of yesterday's show. This is Bill Huntley from the Black Swan Yard reporting for Devices Television. Thank you both very much. Thank you. Thank you.